that car. No sign of a brake. It even accelerated a tiny bit. Now another car. No sign of a brake. Seems to, you know, freak out a little bit more. We got two, another two cars. Right, is it gonna break? Seems to be good right there. It's good there. Not one brake for any of these cars passing by. Morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for my third, well, well technically fourth, uh, 11 up for that sixth drive. We are doing our alternate Carl Sandburg route this morning. Uh, so that turn, if you saw my last video, or one before last, um, was a little bit better this morning. Um, I think it's just luck at a draw, and, and you can see our GPS is off a little bit. So the last version had a lot of issues with that. This version seems to be improved when it comes to the GPS accuracy, at least right off the bat. Uh, that won't stop rover taxis from happening, but definitely something that would be a nuisance for people that you know, park in garages or park with somewhere where you're not going to have GPS signal right away. It's... That's an interesting behavior. It... It's trying to predict where that cyclist was gonna go. Being on the other side of the road, it, it swerved the wheel slightly, like, towards the cyclist. Like, just a tiny bit. Like, it's not like it crossed the yellow line or anything, anything, like, serious, but I, I think it was just, like, trying to predict, like, okay, do I need to make an invasive maneuver to avoid this cyclist? I think it's, you know, what it's trying to plan out. And they're just probably training a new neural net. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> there's, it's not, super accurate right now and they're just hyper conservative what I'm looking for on this entrance ramp is no random brakes and they used to do that quite a lot and it's currently not doing it and it's this is really nice um, it could accelerate a little bit quicker for my preference and it could uh, it needs to go ahead and get over at this point not that it no, it did fine. This was totally fine in this circumstance. But it needs to just turn the blinker on and go ahead and get in the lane when it has space. So this is something I don't like happening. You can see this truck was behind me and then decided the well, the SUV was behind me and decided to pass me. My car should have just gone over it. But it waited, and now I got over it. So it, it's at least what it didn't do is start turning, changing lanes as soon as he or she or whoever started changing lanes. What it used to do in navigating autopilot is it would, the person behind me would start going to pass me, and then my car would go ahead and try and get over in the lane and cut that person off, which is terrible behavior. But of course, uh, oh, interesting. It said it had the maintaining traffic flow behavior in my case I actually want to go faster and now because that went away it went back to the speed limit it stayed at 65 I'm gonna see this this is my problem you, you these trucks the speed limit is 55 but the trucks want to speed up so they can have some momentum going up this up the mountain and so you then you're riding next to the truck and I don't really want to speed there's, there's you know speed traps on here um, because it goes from 65 to 55 in this area and so police cars will regularly sit here not so much on Saturday mornings but on weekdays almost quite often um, there's police cars sitting here so you don't want to speed that much though I think they are only looking for people that are going to above 10 over in this area it makes it, it makes an easy pull over and a high high payout ticket See how it does get in for this merge. So that's improved. Um, and by that, I mean that it doesn't kind of swerve like this when it gets off the interstate. At least on this one X ramp in this one instance, that, that was improved. And we still have another exit to go off of. That's interesting. So that was the second one on this drive where it kind of had false messages. I wonder... So, not the first one didn't do that, but this one, my eyes were kind of like focused on this area right here. 
I like to look kind of like not looking directly forward or looking obviously to the left side of the road. Um, and it makes me wonder if it knows what direct, well, I'm sure it knows what direction your eyes are looking. And it's, um, it, if it thinks that there's going to be a collision from the left, it just sounds the alarm. Uh, so to make, they get your attention so you just look off to the other direction, which is exactly what it did. I should note also that interchange, change lane, um, improved. That, that's exactly what it should be doing right there. The last version waited too long to get over, so that's improved. And, um, to be clear, I did this, I've done this route several times off camera, and every single time it would wait. So this is the first time it's, it's actually got over correctly. The exit right here... I'd always would get off a little bit too fast, and it would kind of in go. It would do full region and let off, and full region again, and let off. It'd be inconsistent, and so we're looking for that to be a smoother experience getting off the highway here. Chain. Yeah, this truck right here definitely confused it a little bit. It break it braked a little bit sooner than I expected because of that. Let's see if this stays smooth the whole way. So yeah, see what it does is it goes, you can tell it's using friction brakes. If it just stood full region the whole way, it would be fine. But it's blending friction brakes, I'm pretty sure. But this is smoother. I'm almost certain on this is smoother. There's a new playlist for this version. If you want to see the comparison, I've done it twice. Oh, it's going to go, isn't it? If it's going to go, it needs to just go. Oh, come Okay, it waited too long, my opinion, but, um, you gonna get over? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, waited a little bit too long for that, in my opinion, and I guess the car behind me isn't really coming at me that fast. It, it, this is very appropriate lane changes right here. It should get over that early to make this left lane change so it doesn't have to do with traffic. However, since we're in the left lane, car behind me is going 50 and I'm going 45. And a little bit too, we have too harsh of a break here. It should not go, should not go. Oh. Um, I don't, my problem is I don't know if that was a true disengagement. My hand jerked a wheel because the car was turning a little bit too much and I wasn't sure if that was really necessary because I don't know if the car was going to stop. <laughs> so basically what I explained to the Tesla team is what I explained to you guys. Um, you let me know if you thought that was a disengagement. I don't know. Um, because it, it, I guess my hand pull, pulled the wheel or something. Um, I wasn't trying to disengage, put it that way. I was trying to let it let it wait and I think it, it felt like it was going to that time but it's hard to say hopefully we get a couple oncoming cars on this road this is the closest I have to narrow roads on my test this is a little bit definitely more narrow I think than a lot around here and so we had um, uh, if you follow me on Twitter you'll see that I did this route off camera last time first time getting zero disengagements and um, and it uh, had two oncoming cars that harshly braked. Um, I think one right in this area, and then one at a uh, narrow bridge that we had to cross. And so I'm looking forward to see if that's improved. Supposedly that's the main point of this release was to improve braking for oncoming cars. Okay, we have a car coming from our left. Then we need to creep up. It should have creeped more right there. Because I don't think it could see. I could barely see around that tree. So which means because the camera is further back, the tree was completely blocking the view of that road uh, for, the, for the car. Fortunately, I don't have an easy or good 360 setup to give you guys for those turns. This seems to be back. Well, this was on the previous version, but then like a, a different drive, it didn't happen. 
It's like it thinks it's in the turn lane and has to get out of it. Which, of course, is incorrect. That car. No sign of a brake. It even accelerated a tiny bit. Now, another car. No sign of a brake. So, it makes me wonder, though. Um, I've, I have noticed that if you go to the speed limit, that the car seems to perform a little bit better. If you push the speed limit on these backcountry roads, that the car um, seems to, you know, freak out a little bit more. We got two, another two cars. Let's, let's see if we can up the speed limit here. And maybe we can catch another car and see if it tries to brake. Um, we're coming up is this narrow bridge up here. So we got another car. Is it going to break? Seems to be good right there. So right here is where it braked hard last time. Because we had a van on the other side of this bridge. Uh, and then... And my car wanted to go through the bridge. My car, I think, had the right of way. Barely. It was like one of those close scenarios where it's hard to tell. It's good there. Not one break for any of these cars passing by. And more hesitant of those people on the sidewalk right there than the cars. It seems to be slightly improved. This is a really hard subjective thing between versions that... It seems to be improved around these curves. That's hard to describe between versions, but it seems smoother. That's all I can say. Now, are we not going to turn on red? Hey, yay! That's um, either improved, fixed, or it's actually just by chance doing it correctly this time. That's great. And now we are green, we can go. Being a little bit hesitant, I guess. Thinking someone could run the light, which is certainly possible. That has happened here. And now we're making a final left right here. Yeah, that's good. That was seemed more confident for the intersection last time. Let's see if it's going to force me to... Uh, no, I'm going to have to break. Oh, yeah, it's still going to do it. It's interesting when you cancel cancel your um, your waypoint. It still kind of does that. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so everyone, um, we are planning to go hiking and I think that did pretty well you let me know if that should have counted as a disengagement um backdash, don't I? I feel like I know who that I've seen this model three before um and we don't have a spot this is what happens when you get here late um well everyone I'm gonna let you go and we'll see you in the next video I appreciate you watching bye